Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching the videos and get an uplift from it, please, you know, Give a thumbs up. You know, I'd love to be able to get in touch. You know, I'd love to be able to connect with you like you're connecting with me. Wanting to be able to get to know you as you're getting to know me. Um, so sending so much love, light, and upliftment towards your way. And um, you know, I always tell people if you're coming here with hidden intent, doing something, all my vibes is highly protected. So anything that you bring it on here is going to back towards you ten million times fold. Except mine's gonna be with healing, love, and light. So, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, uh, it shook you to the, to the core. Now you're, you're starting to understand it was necessary for your growth. Everything that we, we're going through is putting us in uncomfortable situations. As soon as I said that, God, dog, I got spiritual chills. Sheesh. Okay, you know, you're going through certain things that's going to put you in very uncomfortable circumstances. You know, uh, you might be dealing with different situations where... Um, you, you're having to come to terms with healing you know you're allowing yourself self to let go because that's right now is closing karmic chapters out and that mess is not easy because there's a lot of times there's resistance in that there's a lot of times it can contain confusion uh, fear projection toxicity all these things but this is at the time where the universe is really urging you to be assertive this is something that is very critical towards your health, your mental health, your well-being in all forms. These are the different things that, you know, this is carried from one lifetime to another to another. You know, every karmic attachment, every karmic cycle, whatever addictions we had, we had it from every era we went through, every time span. I'm like, you know, we, we did some exhausting stuff to where you didn't catch it the first time. It's like you having to repeat the same grade over and over again. You know, it's just like you should know the answers by now. You already know what assignment. You have to understand the assignment. You know, and just being able to get towards these different things. And it's just like when you know what you want in life, you know what you want to do more in life, you know for us to be able to enter in that type of vibe, there will be certain things that we have to close the door and let go of. And these are the different things that we're working on. This is not going to be a, you know, a nice ride. You're going to really go through some things where it's really going to challenge you. And these are the di different things where you're becoming the best version of yourself. And for that to happen, we're not going to have no little petty any little BS situations that you're dealing with. You're dealing with some hardcore stuff where you have to be able to move different, speak differently, see things differently, um, making better choices on picking your battles wisely, being able to be assertive of what you're talking about, not being combative, you know, not going tit for tat, you know, being in your boundaries, you know, being able to understand I need my peace. You know, if these are the different things that uh, I need to go through I understand this is necessary for my growth and I have to be very assertive about that when you know you're taking your life seriously and the universe sees that you know he start you know they start making moves for us you know when we're allowed because a lot of times we have this bad habit and spirit chills oh shoot who those chills is coming at me um and yeah we're going through a whole bunch of ascension <laughs> situations hot cold chills constant ear ringing you know i've been drinking water like crazy you know i'll be tired one minute and bouncing off the walls the next because the last video i just did i saw i'm like girl slow down where the hell you getting this from you've been drained you know i've been working on different things in my life you know and it was good just feeling you know the cup for yourself you know, just being able to allow yourself to know, you know, hey, you're really seeing things from a different perspective. You're really, you know, going with the flow. You know, that's what universe is telling you. Don't go, don't try so hard to control different things. When they want you to move, they're going to tell you to move just like that. They want you to, you know, place into retreat or rest. You know, right now your, you know, you, your heart chakra is being messed with. So there's a lot of times it make feel like make you feel like you're having heart palpitations. You're having um, really uh, high energetic uh, fields with with uh, tethering different vibrations, even from, um, you know, soulmates, uh, twin flames, you know, even karmic attachments, different things like that. So it can, you know, it, it's putting you all up in a, 
a rigmarole, whatever you want to call it, you know, different confusions, you may want to go crazy, but you're going through all these changes, and you know, you may not realize, but you know, there's frequencies that's shifting, you know, you're going through, a, it, it seems like you're going through a shift every five minutes, you can feel it, it'll be sometimes you slowing up, you start getting, you know, kundalini chills where it's coming straight up the spine, you know, the sacral, sacral uh, chakras is being worked on hard right now, even the solar plexus, you may be, you know, having issues with going to the bathroom or it, it's just the fact that you can't stop going to the bathroom, you know, uh, different things like that, you know, sensitivity to light, you probably got eye sensitivity, you know, sinus issues, you know, sometimes you've been catching, you know, where it's like even the third eye is like busting open so much. You start getting those bleeds. You know, you're really trying to understand, like, oh my god, am I dying? And it's basically you are dying from the old. You know, you are going through a spiritual death. You really are. You know, you're closing chapters of that. And you're you're seeing how many di different things that has transpired into your life that you would have never seen possible. You see there's different things that you are able to walk away with, uh, with 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 all your, you know, with all your might, all your pride that you had to go through, that you, there were certain things that you didn't think that you'd be able to make it through, but some kind of way you got through this. And, you know, we're going through things that are really, you know, really heavy. You know, you have to be able to, to really, you know, part ways with a lot of things that you really didn't, you know, that was hard for you to part with because you've been with that situation for so long. It'll be like if you're moving to another state, and you really can't afford to take your pets with you, you know, that would be the hardest thing, especially if you got fur babies. You know, I, I can straight have empathy for that because, you know, I got my one baby. I got two. But, you know, one is my ex's, you know, his, his road dog. And now I got my baby, you know. And I, I couldn't see myself leaving her behind in any kind of way. So, you know, I can sympathize with people that have, you know, their little fur children and stuff like that. And you're having to do that to where... You know, you see, you know, oh, that's a bad, I don't even want to use that as an example because that's going to hurt my heart. Oh, it'll be different things where, okay, you want to go on a diet and you, you know, all the unhealthy foods that you've been eating for so long. And you know, and you really going through it or you, you decide you want to go vegan, you want to do Kegel, uh, not Kegel, oh shoot, not Kegel, Keto. <laughs> you know, like different things like that. And you know, you're having to go through that adjustment every single day. And that's that's a, a adjustment that may be hard. You're like, man, I'm going to start, you know, I, I can't start my, my diet, you know, in the middle of the week. I don't start that on Monday. You know, and you're going through different things where you're changing your eating habits. You're changing the times that you eat. You're not eating late night snacks anymore. And a lot of times they t tell you gain weight when you're watching TV, you know, real loud. I'm like, hey, you do that? You know, I'm like, you eating is just eating, you know. Um, but you're making these really tough changes in your life that you, you know it can be hard to bear but you know these are inevitable you, you know these are necessary you know if you're going through growth we're really going to have to make some tough sacrifices to where you're going to understand why this was critical for you to make that best choice for yourself because a lot of times we're always choosing things that's going to be better benefit for other people or different things that we oh you know this will be a little bit better for me to adjust to you know um, but this is going to be too hard and you don't realize the universe placed that there to see what you were going to choose are you going to choose something that you know is easy that you can be able to do or are you going to allow yourself to be challenged with this situation you know what I mean really allow yourself to do it and when you're allowing yourself to be honest with yourself you know you're being transparent you know this may be hard I may, I may you, know, uh, you know achieve way better than I ever expected or I may fall flat on my face but I'm allowing myself to do something that's different out of the norm because this is not really giving me any kind of stimulation on on growth right here because you got to be able to you know think wisely because a lot of times what are you going to do you're going to pick something even though you, oh, you're going to excel here but it is just not going you know it's going to go right here but if you make this choice right here where you're you're disconnecting from anything that's distracting it keeps you at a low frequency it always make you have challenging situations to where it really is depleting you you know but you're allowing yourself to, this is where the bonus round going to be so you're going to take this one or you're going to take that one it's like this the red pill this the blue pill what you want to take you know you can't take both but you have to see what's the better better you know alignment for you for where you're really trying to get your life to be at and it's like they tell you choose wisely you know because a lot of times we wonder why sometimes even through your trials and tribulations god get eerily quiet you have to you know sometimes you got to remind yourself even the teachers are quiet during tests they want to be able to see that you have that confidence and faith in yourself like they have in you 
you know, that your ancestors have in you. You know, you're going through these different things where you're going to understand. I'm glad I was hard on myself about being aggressive about that change. Not hard on yourself because you're like, ugh, why can't I get it? Ugh, why I allow myself to get frustrated? Not being that, but you're being assertive with yourself. Is like, you know, there will be different things that I know I have to do. And I work on that all the time because a lot of times it's, that's hard, especially if you've been stuck in a situation for so, so long. You're so used to that. You, you're coming out of a box. You're coming out of that closet. You're coming out of that daggone comfort zone of saying, I'm doing something that's going to really be challenging to me because I'm stepping different. I'm moving forward different, differently. There will be different things where I ha have to allow my focus to not be on it anymore and be okay with that and focus on something that is, is going to take me somewhere. Focus it on something that is no longer needed. You can't worry about that no more. You can't depend on that. But you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, even when you see your life is going there, you, you release. I'm giving that to God, universe, you know, imagine whatever that thought process, that that it could have been a conversation. It could have been a wrong choice. You're allowing yourself to visualize it. You're blowing in a bubble. Like, if you ever, you know, I love playing with my grandbaby when she used to be over here and we had these little bubbles. You know, you blow, you know, you had a little thing, you make the little bubbles. And you're allowing yourself to see whatever that thought was that you're putting it in that bubble and you're allowing yourself to float it up and you're you're grateful for all those moments in your life even if it had to be something very critical or very hard and it shook you to the core but this is that situation that you had to go through this experience to really know yourself knowing thyself because this is that whole thing we're going it seemed like this is what we're going through this week as as above so below you're knowing yourself from every level every angle every avenue every frequency every vibe you're knowing yourself and there, there's things that you're tweaking you know okay i'm slacking off right here where i'm too quick to give up and give in because i'm frustrated you know and and i, I just put doubt myself and then i'm not showing you okay i have to have more confidence in myself to where i can believe i can do this or if i can't i can go to universe to guide me towards what I need to do to understand that. I'll be too, real quick, hey, can I holler at you for a minute? Can you dumb it down, not calm for me? <laughs> you know, I'm like, dumb it down, not calm for me. You know, because I'm not understanding. I can't compute what you're trying to tell me. This is like very ignorant to me, and I feel ignorant what, what you're trying to tell me too. So can you dumb it down, not calm for me? You know, and it'll be something that's so simple because a lot of times when we feel like we don't understand the assignment, there's sometimes we'll put anxiety in there to where it could be something so simple. And we'll place confusion on it all because it's like we're already putting that fear factor right in front of it. Like, I, I don't have what it takes. I can't. You know, I can't. It would be just like if you go into a pool. I used to be like that. I want to get off the diving board. Knowing I had a life jacket on. Because the first time I almost drowned myself back in the day. You know. And, um... I'm getting off in the 12 feet of water. I'm like, man, I almost died. Couldn't <laughs> doing that before because I thought I could swim it in. But I thought I could hit that 12 feet. And I don't know if I was at the bottom. I panicked, you know. But then it was just like, I can't do it. I can't do it, you know. But it, it's just like you're going through that motion where God, universe, your, you, you know, the ancient ones, the tribal ones, you know, the collective and the ancestors, they all are in that life jacket and they're telling you, you got this. Even though you you jumping in 12 foot of water, you have that safety net. You know, and this is where you're going to learn how to swim. You're going to be able to practice through this all the time till it's going to be that point where you're going to jump off that diving board. Hey, you may even go on the tall one and just be able to do them little monkey flips or whatever. And, you know, make sure your belly flop and you'll be okay. You know, even if you do, it may sting a little bit. Shake it off. You'll be okay. <laughs> you know, and then get back on again. You know, even though it may scare you a little bit, take the time. Don't get back on the little one again and gradually you'll get up there. But these are the different things that you know and this is critical towards your growth. You want to grow. You want to make things in a better place. You have to be able to move different, speak different, act different. You know, being able to allow yourself to disconnect from things that you already truly know. That's a distraction. She's a distraction. He's a distraction. This situation is out my control. It's a, a distraction. Let me focus on it something that's you know therapeutic let me focus on something that's positive you know worth my growth and you're working on that every day and you you know whatever you're you're you know you're still struggling with you can allow yourself to do that. i was just saying on the other video it was like a video before that um where i was saying you know write love notes to yourself you know write love notes to yourself you know universe wanted me to talk about that you write love notes to yourself because you know right now energy is really potent right now you 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 can be that person that's a go-getter you know and just really loving how you're changing you're seeing how universe is working with you and you'll start noticing different things when you're needing something or you know like god you know give me the strength to be able to do this and boom next you know because you everything is at free will right now 
You know, they're on that verge where you're focusing on what's in within. You're getting to know yourself within. You're letting go of things that are within. You know, your different things you're parting ways with that is holding you back within. Now it's at that time where you're doing that inner work. That shadow work is no joke. We all know that. When you know when you're doing a real deal, holy field, you already know that shadow work is not for the weak at heart. We all be going bonkers on those situations, have your emotions all over the place. But these are those things where you do have free will. You know, there's a lot of time universe and God in them ain't gonna do that. You know, it'll be different times where he you know, he don't warn you so much and you just just, you know, prone on not wanting to listen. Okay, he gonna go mute. Because it's like when he gave you that chance and, you know, kept on trying to talk to you, you didn't want to listen. You know, now all bets are off since you want to, I'm going to leave you where, you, where you, you comfortable at. But don't come crying to me when things come hit you, you know, in those situations. But then he going to see, you know, you came to me. You prayed to me. You, you said the affirmations for me. You, you done connected with all your archangels. You've been saying your affirmations, your mantras. You see how you're working on yourself. And that's taking that process. Because a lot of times we want microwave blessings. You already know what microwavable food and fast food do. It, it only plants you for a few minutes. And you're you doing something again. And a lot of times if you know you want a good meal. You want to be able to let it sit right. You're going to have to preparate those things and cook at home if you know how to cook. You know, instead of you going out to eat, you know, sometimes you get in that situation where you you are you have no choice but to do that. But they're they're wanting you to understand what's going on, that where you may be in an uncomfortable situation. But this is critical towards your growth. You had to be in comfortable uncomfortable situation. This is how we grow. You know, we're, we having to go through drastic situations that's really going to shake you to the core. And when you're allowing yourself to know, okay, this is where I have to work at. I need to be working on patience with myself because this situation, it feels so unbearable. And you know, when you know you're about to level up, they always tell you, when you're leveling up and you're really going through a growth of healing, you're going to be put in some uncomfortable situations just to see what are you going to do are you going to fold in for yourself because a lot of times when you know you want good in for yourself and you know you're really working hard you earning it you changing you sacrificing you you know you you showing gratitude you know you you light working you taking your you know you're allowing yourself to take back your power from anything that you don't gave your power out to you know it, whatever power you done took from other people you giving that back you know you're forgiving different things you're allowing yourself to drop the things that's no longer serving you you know these are preparations where you know you see if you would have made those constant bad choices you may be doing in the past you would have seen you were falling deeper down a rabbit hole that you ain't gonna be able to get out of and that, that that's something that's not you know it, it's not gonna end well for a lot of situations that's going on so they're always luring you to do something better with your life it's always a, a choice of what you choose and it's like every choice we have got healthy consequences and we got very toxic you know hazardous consequences and you have to be able to make that choice because it's at that point karma and god is and you you, you know universe and they ain't playing you know they are not playing with you and they're getting they're getting down on each and every one of us you know because they you know it's just like when you're you got those parents that they tell you i know you can do it you know and they're, why are you so hard on me why are you fussing me why do you do because they they want you to see what they they see in you sometimes people just be abusive but those parents they really are showing you support and just telling you you know not yelling at you and stuff like that like you really can do this I believe in you I need you to believe in you and when you actually have that blessing of where somebody constantly telling you they believe in you you're gonna start thinking that and they want you to be able to do the same thing you have you have that little voice in you that even when you're going through stuff you know you go through some really hardships but there's something deep inside even when you're going through anger you're going through sadness you're going through depression you're going from being depleted you know wanting to give up you, you may not even want to live anymore it can get to that point it get real serious at times because it's like what we're touching on is a lot of sensitive subjects there's a lot of people that have that blessing that didn't have to go through some kind of abuse they didn't go through some kind of neglect or abandonment issues they don't have mommy daddy daddy issues you know those different things and that's a blessing to do you know i always tell people let me let me talk notes off of you what do you have to struggle with you know because I i'm not used to that. i don't know how to talk to people like that but i would love to hear their insight on what they had to go through because i love being able to understand that i'm you know i only come around with people like that once in a blue moon i'm used to dealing with people that don't really have some jacked up stuff happening to them and they're really trying to see through that of guiding towards peace and when you have gone through something very 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 oh my god it's just hard for you to be able to digest like dude how are you able to still have your own peace of mind and still having love and compassion and even you know and being ground and centered 
for the hell that you have went through and you're seeing that is what a true warrior is you know you're still walking hard you're still walking tall you're showing love to even the things that don't even love you back you're not allowing that affect you you're still allowing yourself to say it's still a good day even though people try to put me in hell the situation try to put me through hell and i'm still getting my taste of heaven every single day because it allows me to work on myself this is critical to critical to my growth you know, and that's not going to be an easy situation to do because you're proving to yourself every day. You ain't got time to be proving to everybody else because a lot of times people can see it before you do. And it, it, they'll still try to act like you ain't got it all. But this is something to you because whatever you're doing towards yourself and you're projecting out to the world, everybody going to see it. Everybody's going to see it because your energy going to speak before you do. And these are the different things that you're going to be glad you went through. I'm glad that I got challenged. I'm glad I, you know, I got neglected. I'm glad that, you know, people cut me off because it's allowed me to know I can walk on my own. You know, I'm always get support no matter if anybody don't support me. I'm still going to get that support because I'm moving through truth. I'm moving through healing. And being showing gratitude like that. You know, there's a lot of times, there'll be different times where I've been angry, you know, being depressed, you know, knowing I don't send so much love to people and they still try to do anything they want it to me. And I still going to say, you know, there's a lot of times I had to be telling myself, don't let these situations make you bitter. Don't make you, you, you sit up here projecting anger out on people that didn't, ain't even the ones who did that to you. You know, you still hold that heart. Be happy that you have a kind of heart like that because those things are very rare. There's very unique, especially if you haven't really experienced love in that kind of manner, you know, as much as you should have, you know. But then it's just a lot of things that you're going through. You know, I always have to constantly tell myself, you know, especially with my situation I went through, I had to be able to understand, you know, what everything that was passed down. We had to learn that from somewhere. You know, those, you know, uh, abuse is, is taught in some kind of way, fear. Is taught in some kind of way you know control issues is taught in some kind of way and you are that one where they said with you you the last it didn't start with you but it's definitely in with you and for you to do that you gonna have you gonna go through hell and high water to be able to make that happen and for that to happen you gonna have things that's coming at you in every direction it's gonna be feeling like a Mortal Kombat Street Fighter and, and probably a half a Sonic to the Hedgehog and a little bit Nintendo Mario you know go-karts you know all those different things together you know because you are that one that's breaking that generational curse you're the anointed one you're the, you know the chosen one and it's just going to be so many different things that know you are heavenly protected you know you're divine in every way and it's just like different things and you know sometimes we second guess that because we go through so many hardships and these are the hardships you're going through to where it's strengthening you and we a lot of times we don't realize that because we'll sit up here and say I don't know if I have that that energy. If, if I gotta take one more day of this BS, I'm I'm done. You know, I might be going to jail if I gotta go through this again. But then it's going through. No, you are not going to jail. This is something that you gonna really prove to yourself on a deepest level. You bringing yourself out the trenches. You are that phoenix that's gonna fly through the ashes. I'm gonna put you through hell, and you still gonna come out with not even no soot or even smell like smoke. You ain't gonna be extra crispy. You know, you ain't going to be no part of the chicken, <laughs> you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken Meal deal. You know, you're going to be that type of person. I went through hell and I still got my wings. I'm still looking good and still smelling good, you know, and all those different things. I'm, I'm proud of the things that I'm going through. You know, we're having lesion and, you know, priests, what, what is it, they have, they have Jerusalem type. You know, if you've ever seen the movies like Jerusalem and stuff like that. I've been I'm noticing a lot of movies pumping up popping up when it comes to that you know it was just like we're going through stuff like right now this crazy definition stuff is going on that's really heavy <laughs> you know that's really heavy they got a new movie called harbinger that's coming out and i was just talking about this a few weeks ago you know when you you are on that that 12d and stuff like that where you really spike it and you really tapped in it gets to that point that everything is heightened up so you very sensitive either you get to that point where you say what you got to say and walk off or you seeing things for what they truly are not second guess what you saw you know you hearing things in different tones you even hear messages through out the different uh vibrations or megahertz of uh messages that's coming through the the you know tapped in through the ear ringing could be like huh what did you say you know it'd be different things it's just like you know walking i end up hearing something in my my earphones and it was somebody carrying a conversation with me i'm like well there ain't nobody out here <laughs> you know and the lights on nobody home what are you doing you know and it's just you know it is that serious you know and that's why it's like at night you probably having time it's hard for you to actually stay sleep throughout the night you know um you're constantly you know you can be tapping into somebody and they you know you see their background 
you know, or you're hearing people's thoughts or, you know, you're going through uh, intense uh, sensory uh, overloads of even psychometry. You, there are certain things that you can't touch that, you know, you don't even like being touched. I'm like, ah, don't touch me. <laughs> you know, people don't, I don't like being touched. I would, anybody see House on Haunted, on oh, oh, Hell, what is it, House Haunted, Haunting of Hell House, yeah, on Netflix. That was my show with Michael Flynn again. He know he'd be making some good stuff. I, I be having Theo moments like she wore gloves she cannot touch. And I was like, what is that? And not realizing she got psychometry. You know, all of them were empaths and stuff like that. And she had the one where you touch things, you see and stuff. You don't like it, you know. And if you don't know if you had that, you know, I didn't even know I had that. If it wasn't something else that somebody asked me to look up and make a video about. And next thing you know, I stumble on this. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And it started seeing all the characteristics of this. And I'm like, hot dog, shut your mouth and keep on talking. Shut the front door. I have that. You know, and I always wonder why I get uneasy when I used to go to thrift shops. Even though know, I love antique stuff, there'll be certain things. Oh, I don't, I don't want that. That's so pretty. Why you do that? I don't know. There'll be certain people. I don't like you touching me. Stop touching me. You know, I don't like that. You know, it could be sometimes people will touch me. They don't go through some stuff. All of a sudden, I start seeing different flashes on why they act the way they act, or different times even when people text me. I don't like that because you know I've always felt like since my 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 situation was violated like that, getting in my thoughts. I don't like doing that to other people. I'll wait for them to know if that's something they want to be able to talk to me about. You know, I'll tell them, hey, I saw this, but I'm not going to anything. You're like, whoa, how did you know that? I said, I saw that. You know, but I'm just letting you know if you want to talk about that, that's fine. If you don't, I respect that too. You know, but that door is always open because what you were dealing with was the real deal, Holyville, and that was very vicious. You know, and so it gives me some kind of insight to understand why you move the way you do. You know, these things are getting very intense. So the more you're working on yourself, and the more you're allowing yourself to move through free will of getting that assistance, not being in the process of progress, of standing in your own way. Because a lot of times we do that because we feel like, oh, we can do this by ourselves, especially when you've been doing things on your own, never really had somebody to have your back. We got used to that. And the universe is saying, we've been here this whole time, but we can't intervene unless it's something that's very detrimental to you. Because a lot of times we get confused and get angry at God and the universe is saying, you say you protect me, why you have my back? Why do you allow certain things to upset me the way you do? Why do you allow certain things to hurt me the way you do? Because these things are hurting to heal you. You know, you have to be able to see the truth in the most hurtful way. You know, digesting it. And you, we get choked on that pill called truth at times. We get choked on it. And sometimes it's hard for us to even digest acceptance. You know, but these are those times you're going to have to do that. You know, you know what your Achilles is. You know what your weak spot is. You know what your trigger spot is. And these are the things you have when you know what, what it is and you know you're really serious about yourself. My mom always used to tell me that. When you know you want something and you know you're tired of dealing with certain things, that's going to be that motivation for you to work so much harder on yourself so you ain't got to deal with that no more. Or you ain't got to be in a situation like that or no more. Or you ain't got to suffer in those kind of ways no more. You're going to stay focused on what's truly important. And you're going to use that as your motivation to keep going. Don't give up on yourself. Because anytime something make you want to give up on yourself, baby, you about to hit the jackpot of the century. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to hit that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible with every single thing you do. Always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. A lot of y'all, you know, send me emails and DMs, you know, um, tell me about the different things that you have gone through and, you know, or, you know, tell me your situation and, you know, you want my feedback on that. And I'll try to be able to help out the best way I can because I feel like it's a, a very good blessing when we can be able to open up to people. It's just like, you know, I like Raj. She seems like she's cool people, you know, and she really understands what I'm going through. And a lot of times, you you know, you can get in your head and wonder if anybody else is going through stuff like this and you know and if they are and they overcome that what do I need to do you know and this is what we're doing it's like a student teacher things there'll be different things that I may be stuck in my own confusion for being in the own way about something and this is something you proudly overcome and you share me share with me your experience and that gives me insight of oh you know what this is something I need to work on because I, you know, I'm going through that too or it'd be different things that I don't you know probably overcome and have no problem with telling people my experience my story of experience and tell them you know this is what you know I had to go through this is what I you know I've been through and you know being able to understand all the stuff we're facing is not something easy you can just walk away from it's not like oh I can forget that person today or I can get out of that negative vibration of not thinking about things that's no longer serving me and over a day that takes time and when you know you're allowing yourself to be assertive 
and working on these things each and every day. You know, write your mantras. You know, even if you, you see one on, um, you know, your different timelines on your social media platforms, you know, screenshot those things. Like I was saying earlier, write love letters to yourself. You know, it's like, this is a love letter to myself on when I'm falling short. This is a love letter to myself when I'm feeling uncertain. Love letter to myself when I'm feeling in fear. So when you know you get back to that point, you made that note to yourself. You're making, this is like your fruit yourself talking to you when you're moving through the struggle of improvement. You know, these things are not easy, but this is something that is going to be critical for our lives. And you just don't know just from you working hard, just for you achieving these things and making room for things that are really deserving to you. You don't know what doors you're about to swing open when you do that. And so, you know, and just for that to happen, you have to remind yourself this mess ain't going to be a walk in the park. You know, you're going, going through a hell fest when you're going through that. That's going to be what they call them different things. I forgot what they call them when you're going, you know, when, when it be taking those folks on obstacle course. You know, those different type things. The hell fest obstacle course. You're going through those different things. You have to be able to prepare yourself for that. And all we can do is just be able to get through the day. You know, don't focus on the whole staircase. Just go for that one step. You know, and being able to do that. But it's just like different techniques you need to do in a well as myself, you know, and being able to do those things because, you know, you got to be able to, you have to be your own best friend. You're going to be stuck with yourself until it's time for God to check you out. Until God is about to, hey, this is the Wi Fi password. Come on, let's go. You know, I'm going to be one of those type of situations. But just being able to connect with y'all, you know, we're all healing and supporting. You know, there's so many people, you know, that's not doing that. And, you know, we really need to get it together. You know, we can't be living life like this all the time. We've got too much stuff that's going on, life too that on short. But, you know, just be able to connect in that way, give your insight about that. You know, having a deeper understanding about your purpose, which I love to do to help people assist with that. So, you know, whatever we speak on is confidential. I'll help out the best way I can. If you're on my community section of my channel, I always leave, uh, you know, uh, my podcast is there, as well as different memes, you know, food for thought, friendly reminder, you know, um, different things to uplift you, make you laugh, and just, you know, something that you can give yourself if you're really falling short. You know, we're all going through battles that you know we're quietly facing you know the ones that we don't speak loud about you know send so much love to people whatever you're battling with you know if you got through today god bless you and congrats celebrate yourself for that you know you need that but you know even with that and if you felt generous enough to donate towards the channel cash app is there as well whatever vibrations you're needing to consist on your uh continue consist on continuing you know uh to bring your mandates into fruition i'm sending all that towards your way if it's consistency you know energy you know uh upliftment healment alignment enlightenment discernment you know whatever that is persistence consistence you know motivation determination all those things i'm sending towards you 10 million times fold you know keep working hard you know anything that's worth fighting for is not going to come easy to you and you, you know when you finally do get it you're going to have very much of appreciation for it and you're going to honor it with love and care so you keep doing that you, your purpose is needed your purpose matters no matter what people say no matter what your surroundings say you're needed Okay, they need you here as much as possible. So stay woke. You know, don't sleep on yourself. You know, the devil sees your light and potential. He'll try to do anything he can to make you give up today. Because he already know there'll be five doors and a shade and stuff. It's going to pop open for you tomorrow. So you keep being, you know, consistent and persistent. You got blessings coming to your way. So, you know, have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible for everything you do. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, life, frequencies. Those things can really take somebody a long way. Just for you doing that with no hidden intent, it's going to take you even further. So much love to you. God bless. Shalom. I say peace.